Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a very small technique that the gunner and all the other classes can utilize when interacting with zip lines. I wanted to knock this video out real quick just because I've recently learned about it and have been utilizing it to great effect, as well as the fact that I'm working on some bigger projects right now that may take a little bit longer to get out, probably three or four days. So I figured I'd give you guys something to chew on in the meantime. So without further ado, as you probably figured out from the title, today we're gonna to be talking about the Gunner's Zipline Launcher, which is considered by many, including myself, to be probably the lowest tier movement utility in the game. Now I know there's some devout Gunner players that are gonna disagree with me on this, and <laughs> I understand that that's my opinion, but compared to the scout's grappling hook or the engineer's platform gun, it's kind of hard to argue with the low ammo pool and the slow setup and usage time. However, what if I told you that there was a way to move faster on zip lines without even taking the required upgrade? Which is certainly good news considering that upgrade is plus 75 to an already 250 move speed. So there's really no big secret to the zipline movement, it's just jumping off the zipline and grabbing back on repeatedly. Now it may sound convoluted or just non-functional on paper, however I'll show you some clips in game of myself both riding normally at the 325 maximum movement zipline speed, as well as jumping alongside that, and we'll see how they compare. So to start we're going to set up our ziplines at 0, 10, 20, and 30 degree angles so we get a nice spread of realistic scenarios. So immediately on the 0 degree angle zipline we can see that we're able to rise above the zipline and repeatedly grab on and lower ourselves back onto it. However, if we jump off before we lower back down, we can get a little bit further and with the air strafe speed being faster than the actual zipline movement speed, we can effectively ride a faster zipline by just floating above it. Like many things in this game, this is actually more easily done when you are a client player in someone else's game. However, it is still doable, functional, and faster when you're the host of your own game. However, you may struggle a bit the higher the angle goes. And as an added benefit, since you are always grabbing the line over and over again, if you do happen to get shot by a web spitter, Mac Terra, or just get swarmed by NATO sites, Odds are almost 100% that you're going to be able to instantly re-grab the line since you're already grabbing the line multiple times a second, therefore making you relatively impossible to knock off the line. This tip is particularly useful for the other classes other than Gunner as usually you don't spend too much time on the zipline and you're just passing through. So being able to tank a few Mac Terra shots without plunging to your death is definitely valuable. However, unfortunately, this technique renders the alternate upgrade to the speed upgrade relatively obsolete since it's designed to help you when you do fall off a zipline. So you might be better off just taking the speed upgrade anyways and still doing this trick. All things considered though, this is a relatively small and insignificant technique that you should just practice in your free time and hopefully it can make your missions just a little bit faster. If you didn't watch the Christmas update video, I'm currently running a giveaway until the first of the year. Link for that's in the description. But basically, just go to my gleam.io link and complete the three tasks, and you'll get your three entries to win. But if you'd like to see some more Deep Rock Galactic content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And let me know what you think of this technique down in the comments below. Thank you again, and have a nice day.